Princess Jaina. <laughs> Dragon Mage. Let the games begin. Hmm, interesting. So, n minus Antonidas plus Ronin, and then negative Nefarian plus Maligos. That would give me the same amount of dragons. I feel like I'd probably have to add Emperor if I was running Maligos, but it's not that hard to add Emperor. That's definitely something to consider. If I make one cut, I could cut one Missiles, maybe. Or one Portal. Probably not one Portal. I could maybe cut a dragon, but... I don't ping this because on turn 4 I have a play. I would ping the Mana Worm if I had to play a 2 drop or nothing on turn 4, though I can kill the Mana Worm, but at least he probably has to ping here. Wow, that's pretty... Heads up play, I guess. I'm still gonna give him this. I have to attack first, just because the taunt will screw me over if I don't attack first. Guy Barone, thanks for resubbing, six months. Welcome back to the Strife Crew. Crowfist. Hmm... Pretty disappointing. Hopefully I can dump my hand before him. I mean, it's looking pretty unlikely that I can get Jeeves Valley. Probably for him as well, I'm not sure. Okay, so... He's almost in Crusher range. One more turn, I get him in the Crusher range. This is the turn I get him in the Crusher range, I think. Uh, it, it'll probably be next turn, but... Wait, what does Chiefs do? It's covered. I get a feeling um it's three cards, right? Not four, so I wouldn't have got value. No, no, I can't do that. I can just play the crushers later. Come on, one more ping. Oh. He needs three here. <laughs> okay, so face here or trade. I feel like face is fine. He should be the one having a trade still. And then duplicate procs, which is good for me. I can't see like a spell that would really matter. Flame Strike's okay for me still, for the spell power. Fireball he still doesn't kill it in one shot. Fireball gets it to 7. 7 damage, 8 with the ping. Although it's actually better against Flame Strike to trade just because I uh, trade in the 4 4, but I feel like Flame Strike he loses the game anyways. Because he has to trade after Flame Strike and then duplicate procs.
I feel like uh, Mana Worm and Flame Waker should be dragons almost. Like they look like dragons, Mana Worm looks like a dragon, and Flame Waker actually looks like a, like a dragon. Let the games begin. See, this is a dragon. And if you guys see Flame Waker, like when I draw him, it, it actually looks like a dragon as well. This deck would be so awesome if Mana Worm and Flame Waker were dragons. Archmage running Malagos would be good. It just it feels so bad to take out Dr. Boom, especially when you're running so many 7 attack minions like Ronin and Crushers. Actually, I don't feel too bad about not having Emperor because it's so hard to play Ronin and then Ronin dies and then playing Emperor after anyways. I guess like if you Emperor the Malagos, it's still good because it's at 8 mana, and then you, you can just play Missiles and Frostbolt, things like that. And you don't really need to have the Dream, which is like... Emperor after Mal Ronin dies. That, that might be too much, like too hard to pull off. But so I'm ahead on a beat, like one, one beat ahead on tempo. Oh, that's good. I was hoping I get something playable, but yeah, see, that's not complainable. Can't complain about getting a Tyrion. Nice. I guess I play this and then Tyrion. <laughs> keep her down, keep her down. Should I play Drake next turn or Tyrion? <laughs> Duplicate Tyrion. Oh, that's too troll. It doesn't feel good to trade both into the Drake. Let's just leave up the Drake, I think. Kind of weak to swipe, but not really. Like, what is he gonna swipe? Well played. By the power of I okay, that's the one shield value right here. Don't test me, child. I'm definitely going for tempo over value. Like, I. Don't even guarantee I duplicate Tyrion, and it's not even that likely he kills it. It doesn't. I feel like it doesn't make sense because I can tempo him down. I, I don't need more Tyrions. Tyrions have diminishing returns, kind of. Not really, but. He has to punch Tyrion if he wants to clear. But this movie doesn't get the clear, but he saves himself some life. Kind of a weird innervate there. Especially for one armor. Crusher is activated now. But I'm not playing it over boom. Mad Scientist is too good, I think. I was strongly considering mulliganing one, especially because I don't have Mirror Entity, which is the best secret. But Effigy is the tempo secret, and I have two Effigies and one Duplicate, so I'm more likely getting Effigy, which is the one I want against Druid over Duplicate, since it provides more tempo. It's kind of scary because, like, Effigy on small minions is only going to give other small minions, but, like, realistically, it won't go like that. Mana Worm probably died a spell and then. This dies, trades in, then maybe I'll start effigying like bigger minions. It's this guy's so much value if you get a secret. Yeah. 
It's the perfect counter to Living Roots. He might be an Aggro Druid. The question on Malagos, I've never drawn Malagos yet, so I can't tell you that. That's actually pretty good. I have some Flame Waker shenanigans coming up soon. If I want to go Effigy next turn, well, actually, it depends what we get here. But I can Flame Waker coin Portal on turn four, so I need to find a, find a move that's good next turn. All my moves are awkward next turn because I want to play a second Mad Scientist. This one is going to get either Duplicate or FG, both not good with this Mad Scientist. Okay, it is Acrid Oh, I don't have a dragon. I wouldn't mind forcing him to kill a Flame Waker, especially with how aggro he is, but this should be fine, I feel. I will waste an Effigy, this will proc duplicate. And then I'll be able to pull off the Flame Waker next turn. I'll still have his duplicate down for Flame Waker. Ooh, that's pretty good. And I didn't have a dragon for Twilight Guardian. Let's see how these pings go. If I had two here, I should trade. Pretty disappointing pings. I got a two donation from Probers. Why not replace Dank with Koldara? I'm, I'm guessing Dank means Crusher. Because Crusher Day. I'm role-playing as a crusher today, so... Hmm... Kuldara isn't amazing in this anyways. Another night on the prowl. <laughs> Double Wrath Guard or Harpy? Oh, I messed up. I thought this was duplicate in my hand. Oops. If I knew this was Effigy, I would have put Effigy in Wrath Guard, not even on Sale Portal. Because Effigy is actually pretty good. It's a tempo. Right now I need tempo over value, so... I thought this was duplicate. I, I didn't think about playing it. I almost want to play Effigy anyways. Actually, no. There's no way Effigy is better than just playing the Harpy. Because this is a random 4-drop, so there's no way a random 4-drop is as good as a Harpy, right? I guess it turned out around the same, but I had to get lucky to get something this good. I could have had Effigy and one Wrath Guard, though. I'm basically saving myself around 2 damage if I play Corruptor here, but I don't get to clear the board next turn. I'm going to play Boom and then Corruptor next turn, because if I play Corruptor, my next turn won't be anything with an immediate effect. Like, I don't have Fireball or Frostbolt or another Corruptor, so anything I play next turn will be like non-taunt, non-Battlecry minions, pretty much. So I think I saved myself more damage in the long run by using Boom and then getting a full board clear next turn with the Corruptor instant effect and the Boom bots and Dr. Boom together. I don't value this that highly right now, like Corruptor plus Wrath Guard. I'm already kind of dead, so it's hard to justify getting the Wrath Guard down anyways. Okay, I'm gonna die to combo if that's what it is, but it's not much I can do about that. If it's combo, I'm dead. Even if I frost will face, it's still 12 damage. So... Indeed! 
Actually, Priest is a minion base deck that can beat Secret Paladin. Maybe my deck does good. Like, I have some of the same strengths as Priest, right? We have, uh, like, 1 3 minions and 2, fo two 4 and 3 fives. Like, we have minions that have more health than attack early. That's one of the criteria. I'm gonna just burn my coin. It's hard to plan for a mana curve when you have this many unstable portals. I'm just gonna play the mad scientist and then just start seeing what I get from the portals. Are you mocking me? Problem with Squire here is my secrets are effigy and duplicate. So after the scientist dies, I'm gonna have uh Squire Duplicator or something, it's not good. It makes a little bit of sense if this is 2 2, I can trade the Squire and ping, but it's not exactly too ideal, anyways, so. Burly Trog, that's good. Kind of worked out. Because it's very important for me to have like a high mana curve guy. I kind of cheated it out with Portal. And now it has like extra value with Effigy. But this card's actually really good against Priest, I think. He casts a lot of spells. Not bad. Mm, not too great either, because it can't kill after the heal. This guy has a lot of life, I'm just going to use his life as a resource. It'll just take too long, him sitting here. Still not playing Squire because of the uh, secret down. Looking to set up some kind of like Blackwing Corruptor turn next turn. I'm actually really happy he's trading because now I get another Effigy target. I need the tempo right now from all my Effigies. Not bad. I'm not sure if I should be playing on Cabal. He only has four cards in his hand. Eventually, I'm going to be opening myself up to Cabal, anyways. I play Flame Waker. Oh well. I mean, it doesn't do enough, anyways, at this point, so a 1 1 isn't really contesting anything. Even here, it's not any worse than Koldara Drake. What's my outs this game? It's gonna have to be... Some kind of Maligos comeback? I don't have Emperor, so... Maybe take out Ronin for Mal or Emperor. It's too slow, this Ronin. I'd rather get the Boombots. He's too damaged to kill me. I could... Nah, the fireball just doesn't do enough. I think I just like throw him down and hope we hope I don't die or hope he, he, this doesn't get stolen or something. There's almost no way I'm gonna be comboing this. Not without Emperor. The spirits be okay. Begin. 
I have four three drops, seven three drops if you count spells. I'm gonna go ahead and mulligan technician because I have seven three drops. I feel like I can get another three drop, and it's pretty important for me to get a two drop after mana worm, so. <laughs> I'm a stand up comedian, pretty much. Uh, Totem Carver... I'll never have friendly totems, pretty much, right? I don't like this a lot, like, I don't get value from the Frostbolt Flame Waker, but I get to save my Totem Carver right now. Because if he had a zombie chug and attack trade, right now he at least has to deal the 4-4, maybe. It's actually not bad, it is taunt. Unfortunately, I don't have any more spells. <laughs> no, that's not. That's too troll. Or is it? That's that's too troll. I get to take out his mech, but yeah, that's too troll. Well, at least that guy's taunt. I kind of need the value from duplicate right now. Did you bring some fish? Actually, maybe I should have played this anyways, because I had Dr. Boom turn 7. I guess it's almost the same, because I get to trade anyways. That's wrong. I should play Boom and trade here. I'm not even saving myself damage the other way because uh, by trading this, like say a three attack guy comes out, I don't even really lose like damage. Ooh, nah, no, he's gonna be careful. <laughs> so even here, like I would have only saved myself one damage, right? Definitely makes sense to it's not bad, not bad, not bad. I take it. Good bots. Almost in crusher range. He needs to do one more damage. And here I attack with a totem golem. So I don't know how he's planning on doing this. Maybe fire elemental. Yeah. Let's go ahead and attack first. We can't race here. We have such a good hand. And I think we can get him to 15 soon. Not this turn. Even this one damage move bot isn't bad because it sets up for a 3 3 trade. And I don't like trading for him. It's like it's much better for him to have to trade like this than me setting my guy into his guy, so. Good thing I attacked face. Just need one missile. Okay, interesting. 9, 10, 11, off by 1. I need to get Boombot to the face. Not bad. Oh, taunt totem. No. I probably still win, right? Oh no. This guy should be the one that's getting effigied, because he's the most. Yeah, yeah. Another man worm? Okay. He was the more recent guy. It's 
Still going for the minion damage over ping over three turns. Wow. The taunt totem's carrying him. It's okay, I still have burn. I can ping him over three turns, two turns or something. We'll see. He's just all facing, right? That makes the most sense. Keep a slower hand against Warrior. Armor, major fit. It hurts using a coin here, but I do want something to deal with Acolyte already on board, so. Wait, he doesn't have death fight probably. Hmm. Let the pain speak to me. Like I don't think anyone would realistically play around FG, you're gonna have to kill minions anyways. <laughs> Why is Kalento not a mod? I don't know man. It doesn't moderate my chat, right? So That's the best 4 drop. I'm feeling... This is the best 4 drop actually. There's nothing really better. Maybe a Shredder. I'm feeling a Shredder. Alright, I'm feeling Blade Master. <laughs> the it's kind of a waste, right? N not really. I guess I don't have anything else. Cause I can just attack that, like the weapon's killing my guy anyway, so 3, three and 3 one is not too much difference. It, probably if I had another drop like Drake I would have dropped it over this guy. 3 one's kind of a liability against something like Cruel Taskmaster maybe, but I don't know. I mean I don't think it's worth playing around that much. He's our AP, he's a Cruel. I'm not even sure if this is controller or patron right now. The Big thing is like it hurts my mana curve, I can Frostbolt, ping and play the Ghoul. Alright, I need to get him down to Crusher range. Kinda getting there. Maybe next turn. Pitlord. Pitlord would have been best. <laughs> of course I like Kalento. I can take the hit. I mean Kalento aren't that social. Like I I guess like I don't hang around other people's stream that much either. I don't think I'm a mod in anyone's chat either, so. <laughs> okay, it's, it's crusher time. It's crusher time. Get him, boys. No big game hunter. That's why Crusher's kind of good with Dr. Boom and Nefarian. I have so many big game hunter targets now. Oh, nice. No big game hunter. I wonder if he's going to do the greedy trade here. I don't know if he will. That seems way too greedy. <laughs> yeah, that, that's way too greedy. He's taking nine for that trade. Actually, no, he's not taking 9 for that trade. Oh, if I had one more mana, I could uh, ping after. And then get him 9 again. This is... I didn't play a second Crusher, but this is stronger anyways. This is... adds up to what, like a 7-9? I guess it's still not as strong as a 9-9, this move. It's just better for mana. The extra ping I get, Crusher ping doesn't really do much here, so... There is some incentive, like these are easier to use for mana wise. Six is harder to use than like a five and a three, but. My deck is just powerful enough to get through this tank up. 
He might have execute. Nope. Is he dead? This is a 12. He has 20. I need 8 damage. So now he's not dead. Probably going to play Nef... Wait. Yeah, I'm going to play Nefarian. It plays around Brawl the best. I'm not sure if he would have Brawl. I guess he doesn't have Brawl. Nice. My other move is like the Mana Worm plus Frostbolt plus Crusher. But I don't think I'm scared of this attack right now. Like, what's he going to attack? He can't attack my Crusher. And he doesn't have Execute. I know he doesn't have Execute. So the Death Spite Whirlwind doesn't really matter if he doesn't have Execute. There's no way for him to like attack one of my minions. That's great. So it makes sense to play around Brawl instead of Frostbolting his face. Just because Death Spite isn't that good this turn. <laughs> this Crusher wins me the game. It's too much value. Six mana, nine, nine. Oops, first turn.